Hello, my name is Virgil Widrich. I'm 37 years old. I was born in Salzburg and now I live in Vienna and make movies. I, I always wanted to make films since I was in the cinema for the first time and I was totally amazed by this magic. I think cinema is the most you can come close to magic at all. And um, it has never stopped me. When I go into a cinema, the world stops and I'm in the movie. And I was always very interested in the images. So I wanted to control the images. In film, it is important to be identified. In narrative cinema, it's all about identification. There is a hero, sometimes a very well-known person with whom we like to identify. And then the film does certain things to make you identify even better. For instance, they show the hero looking at something and then you see what the hero sees and that's how you identify with the hero and with the way the hero looks into the world. That was one of the ideas in Copy Shop, uh, to stop the border between the object and the subject of the film. So I thought, what about if the hero is object and subject at the same time? What if you look at yourself like in a mirror? How would you film such a scene when you are not only the looker but also the object being looked at? My first idea about the film was the moment when, which is also in the final film, you walk on the street and everybody outside is yourself. And you are even almost driven over by a car that is driven by yourself. We have all these models here, like those for instance. These are now two for about not not even one second of film. Now fast film really developed out of copy shop. It is the next level of working with film grammar and with the ideas developed for copy shop and also the next level of working with paper. Uh, the idea came to me when we were in the sound studio for copy shop. In the evening I saw that you can almost watch an animation on the floor of of Johannes Silverschneider, the actor in Copy Shop, walking. And this suddenly gave me an idea to animate three-dimensional objects or folded objects into a film. And then I always wanted to make an incredible chase sequence my whole life. But how can you do it? How can you finance it? Chase sequence is something I love about cinema and it is pure cinema. In no other art form we do, we do have this. I did not think that fast film would be such a mainstream success because I thought it's more experimental and more difficult to read. It does not really matter who you identify with. It's not really bound to the actor. It's bound to the looking of something. So it doesn't matter if Cary Grant looks and you see what he sees or if Buster Keaton looks and you see what he sees. And this was something I thought about in theory and I was not sure if it would work, if people would, could be able to read this film. And I'm very surprised that it really, really works. It was very hard uh, work to find the right images that together make one convincing perspective. Because another aspect of fast film is space. It is a very flat film because every image is flat. It's just paper and of course the, the depth is an illusion because it's only an image of perspective. That's why we had to combine different films that have the same perspective or have a believable perspective. So when you see the train from the side, mm -hmm. suddenly we cut 90 degrees to the front. It's both yes. totally flat. Basically, I'm always looking for a visual experience. And I think I go to the cinema to get a visual experience. And that's something I don't get very often because most films are showing the same images all the time. When I sit in an airplane, I usually never take the headphone. I always watch the films in silence and these are new films. And what you see is always two or three people talking to each other. And there are only five shots that are always the same. You know, over shoulder, blah, blah, blah. All these shots are the same all the time. And there is an establishing shot, a house from the outside, and then you cut to people talking again. And that's absolutely banal grammar. So the, film, the mainstream cinema in most, most uh, products is really uh, very banal and boring. My question is how can you marry 
the visual power of animation and of avant-garde with a 90-minute narrative structure. I think that's a big task that has not at all been fulfilled in cinema yet.